last video we discussed about variables and before that we talked about data types. So using data types, you are telling the compiler that this variable holds data of this type. But that is not all about variables. They have storage classes also associated with them. So through storage classes, what are you doing? You are just telling the compiler how to store that variable, for what amount of time that variable needs to occupy space and memory, and what initial value it should hold, and all those stuff. Before talking more about storage classes, let's see what scope is. Scope basically means that this is the place where your variable is accessible. So some variables are local variables which are accessible inside the parent function that is the function which created them. The function where you have defined your variable, you can use your variable only in that function and not in any, any other function. So they are local variables. And then there are global variables which can be used throughout the lifetime of program. So they are globally accessible. They are defined and declared outside all other functions. Then we have declaration and definition. These two words are sometimes used interchangeably but they convey different meanings. Declaration is just telling the compiler about existence of something. So when you are declaring a variable or a function, you are telling the compiler that somewhere in my program, this variable or this function exists. You are not saying anything about, the, uh, about what the function does, about what value the variable holds or anything like that. Then there is definition through which you are reserving space in memory. So when you are reserving space in memory, you need complete information. You need what that space needs to, what value that space needs to hold, what the function is going to do so that you can assign a proper space to it in memory. So definition part is the functionality of the functions and the value holded by the variables so basically, when you define, you are reserving space and when you declare, you are just commenting about its existence. Then let's come to storage classes. So there are basically four different types of storage classes. Actually, there are five. One of them, we are not going to discuss right now. They are auto, register, static and external. The fifth one is mutable, which are which is used in the object-oriented programming. So we'll discuss about it later when we talk about classes and objects in C++. So let's start with auto. Auto, the scope of auto variable would be local. So all your local variables are auto variables. They are automatic variables. Life would be the execution time of the function. Once the execution of the function finishes, the variable also dies and is no longer available. Default value is garbage. So anytime you declare a auto variable, it's going to contain a garbage value until and unless you initialize it. Auto is the default storage class. So the way we declared and defined variables we were not using any storage class, right? All those variables were auto because this is the default storage class of all the variables. Then there is register. Register storage class is also very much similar to your auto storage class. Its scope is also local. Its execution time is also the same. Default value is also garbage. The difference is in its storage. Auto variables and all other different variables of storage classes are stored in RAM. But the variable having register storage class is stored in registers. And registers are the place which can be accessed the fastest 
and so registers offer you fast access but declaring a variable with register storage class does not guarantee you that the variable would be stored in the register it just says that it might be stored in register at all the registers are free because cpu registers are very limited in number next we have static storage class so static storage class also has local scope but its lifetime is the complete execution time of program its default value is zero and not garbage since its scope is local we would be able to use the variable only in the function that created it but its lifetime is the complete execution time of program so static variable is going to retain its value in between function calls because it is not dying after the execution of the function its lifetime is the complete execution time of program then we have the external storage class which will have a global scope lifetime would be execution time of program obviously because its scope is global so its lifetime has to be the complete execution time of program its default value is also zero so when you define a external variable or a global variable its default value is going to be zero and it is declared using the extern keyword globally notice the word declared here it is declared using extern keyword your extern variables have global scope you can access your extern variables in some other file as well so when you are you have defined your variable in a particular file you do not need to use the extern keyword there you are defining your variable for definition you can simply define it globally that is outside all other functions without using any keyword any keyword like extern you have to use the data type for example int and then the name of the variable just like normal definition but when you are using that same variable in some other file you need to tell the compiler that this variable exists and that is done by you by declaring the variable which is through the use of extern keyword so that is all about data types and storage classes in the next video we will see some examples we'll see some codes which will make the concept more clear and concrete to you